Happy Thanksgiving. This is the No Shopping edition of my Thanksgiving Get Ready With Me. So what are you doing? Are you cooking? You might be watching this the day after Thanksgiving. You might be shopping. You may be not shopping. <laughs> you might be home all by yourself or just with your husband or you're not really that busy. I think sometimes people watch a lot of YouTube on the holidays as a way to not feel so alone or lonely. If that's the case, I get it. I know. I know. I do it too. This year, I'm filming this a little bit in advance, but this year is at my house is um, I'm cooking. I've got my husband here and my 93-year-old father will be here <laughs> at high altitude with his oxygen machine. So that's what's going on. None of our kids are here this year, grandkids not here. So it will be a quiet Thanksgiving. And I imagine, I know, a lot of football will be on. So I'll have my little earbuds and my phone and I'll hang out with them and watch YouTube. I'm watching YouTube just like you today. I want to do something besides talk about what's on sale because there's a lot on sale <laughs> right now. That's um, a given. So I'm sure I'll do some online shopping, but I, you know what? I just don't want to talk about it. I want to get ready. I want to relax. I'm going to put my pumpkin eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow stick on and my sort of color coordinated blush and lipstick and just have a good old fashioned chat with you. I've already got my primer, foundation, color corrector, concealer, eyebrows, a little bit of mascara on already. To be totally transparent, the mascara is on because I made a video, another video this morning. <laughs> so I know that if I wait till Thanksgiving Day today when I'm posting this to make the video, that's not going to happen on Thanksgiving Day. But I am going to wear this top. It's a, a little boho. A boho is not so in style. I don't know. I still like it. And there's a little bit of pumpkin color in here. I have no, not one orange top in anywhere. Orange does not look good on me <laughs> as a color. But as an accent, peachy looks a little better than hardcore orange. But I go with orange sometimes. And it's Thanksgiving. I have to put some pumpkin eyeshadow on. So let's get started. I have, what am I going to show you? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I do want to show you my vintage earrings really quickly. They're like ginkgo leaves. I say vintage. I mean, I think they are. I got them thrifting. I don't have a problem thrifting earrings, but I soak them in alcohol. So it, sometimes it completely like melts them if they've got some plastic or something on there. But for the most part, it turns out okay. I'm kind of picky about what I buy. Okay, let's see. Should we start with eyeshadow? I do want to mention this primer. This is a brand that I don't really like, generally. It's the Juice Beauty, and it is called Photo Pigment Illuminating Primer. Okay, well, big whoop, you know. I was like, all right, I'm going to buy it. I bought, I got suckered into buying some eye cream at Ulta by the <laughs> Juice Beauty rep and back. Not ambassador, but uh, representative was there that day. And it didn't, I don't, didn't say much about it. This stuff, she was like, this is our number one selling product. I was like, yeah, okay. This is nice. This is the, just the tiny, I mean, it is the tiniest amount of illumination. It does not enhance my texture in my pores crazy. If you're in the mood for something different, this is something different because this is the most subtle glowy product of any kind that I've ever found. On with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this up if it kills me. <laughs> I mean, this is a fine product. Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. There's nothing wrong with it. It works fine. I don't know why. I'm not crazy about it. I really have no reason. I just wish it covered more, I guess. I wish I could use it as a base to cover. 
like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I want to try the NARS Primer next. Dion loves makeup. She's always got her NARS Primer out, so I'm thinking it must be a good one, or she wouldn't use it like all the time. Let me give that a minute. Now, I've got three eyeshadow sticks. I have my base color that I use a lot. It is number 28, Kiko Milano. Do you know about this brand? I have a video. I'll put the card above. It's an Italian drugstore brand. And here's the secret on a lot of the products are made in Italy. And Italians, I like act like I know everything about Italians. <laughs> I did go there and spend a little bit of time there, like, you know, walking around looking at people and stuff. They have their own sense of style, and it is different than French. It is, um, it's just, it's more. <laughs> more, but somehow it doesn't look tacky, but it should look tacky because it's so much. But it doesn't. I don't know how to explain that, but... It's a brand, a drugstore brand I like. Kiko Milano USA.com. You can get everything. I guess it's everything. I don't know if it's everything they make, but a lot of stuff. But they have a full line of eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow sticks. So watch my video. I've got all the new colors swatched. Or they haven't come out with any new colors since I made that video. I keep track of it because they are reasonably priced, great quality. And they happen to be made in the same country as the caviar sticks. Probably a different factory. Probably, right? Wouldn't be that easy. The colors are a little different. They don't have a lot of mattes, of course. But they have some. This is a matte neutral. And they have a matte snow white that makes all the other colors explode. So, they blend easily, and they wear well. So, I blend the whole thing out to try to tone a little bit of it down. But my objective here is to completely blend this so that basically it's like using concealer. Now, I've tried concealer with some powder a million times gets in my wrinkles settles in my wrinkles so much so much okay so here we go i am so relaxed i'm already kind of in i'm relaxed just thinking about thanksgiving it is when i was younger i would stress about the cooking so much and now <sighs> I don't even care if it tastes like crap. Who cares? It always is decent because it's homemade. I am going to switch up a couple things this year, and I'm going to get actual green beans from the produce section instead of canned green beans for my green bean casserole. And it's nothing. It's the retro version with the cream of mushroom soup and the French's fried onions. And this year, you know what I'm going to do <laughs> for myself? I'm not going to buy a second box of French's onions to eat on Thanksgiving morning while I'm cooking. Yes, I have eaten a whole freaking box, cramps my stomach up, run into the bathroom after about an hour after eating all that grease. But it's like a holiday tradition for me. I'm not doing it. I say I'm not, I'm not. If I don't bring it home, I can't do it, right? Can't do it. So now I'm going to go in with this new... This is the the mat. Where's my pumpkin? Oh, whew. So, um, hang on. Let me get the color on this. Here it is. I make a little chart now. That's how into cream eyeshadow sticks I am. This is Vintage Suede, and then it's called Groovy, the pumpkin color. These are all the e.l.f. matte no-budge sticks. I have a video about that coming up, so I can't really link to it <laughs> because I'm not going to have time to post it yet. But I have all the matte, e.l.f. matte no-budge sticks, a full review with color combinations that I like, blah, 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 blah. So, anyway, next I'm going to go in with this vintage suede, and very quickly I'm going to put the pumpkin on. So, when I say very quickly, these these e.l.f. matte no-budge 
has a shorter blending time than the older no budge mats that I gave a really bad review and called them a fail once because they did not wear well. But they wear pretty good with a primer underneath. So I've changed my mind on them. All of these are such a good price. Anyway, and I also use my Sigma Tapered Blending E35. It's my favorite brush for blending cream eyeshadow. So anyway, I'm going to go in here. Let me get my magnifying mirror. You know, I always say that this is a... <laughs> I lied. I always say this number 38 is a matte eyeshadow stick. And every time, it, it looks matte until I get in the 10 times mirror. Even in the 3 times mirror, I cannot see that it has a shimmer. But when I get in the 10 times mirror, I can see it has a very, very tiny shimmer. So, but... It's kind of like not visible to the naked eye, if you ask me. Here we go with Vintage Suede. I'm a little bit rambly today. I kind of hope I'm keeping you company. I hope. I hope. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to cover my mobile lid. And then this dries pretty quickly. So now I'm going to make my little crescent. I don't make a point on mine. Any kind of point that I make, I use... A brush to make it with because so if I make a point I'm blending look I just tore that oh it's got a sharpener I didn't even know that till just now <laughs> interesting and then I make a blob so this is a pumpkin blob I think in this case I'm gonna go on like halfway which really means 75 percent because of the blending and then I better stop talking and blend 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 because these do set down. I call, them, I call it set down pretty quick. And I can tell you right now, that's not enough pumpkin for me today. It's way too much yellow and not enough pumpkin. But I will add that in a minute. My main objective here is to make sure I don't get a hard edge where the shadow stops and my skin starts. I'm going to go back in with some pumpkin. I may not be able to get it dark enough to actually look like pumpkin. I think I will. So I'm really going heavy right here with my... And then I'm going to go up a little bit more so I can blend. And then I'm not going to touch this part right here. I'm not touching it with the brush so that I can retain the pigment. That didn't take much blending at all, and I'm pretty happy with that. What do you think? I kind of like it. It's a little more than I usually wear. Let's get the other eye done real quick. I'm almost using enough of this yellow that I didn't need that base color, but this is a pretty vibrant color. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then I'll quickly get this pumpkin color, this groovy color. They're all named for the 60s. Or maybe, I guess that'd be 70s because, or maybe they don't know that cool beans is a programming term. We used to say that in the computer world. Cool beans. And I think maybe it was just that those were the people that would say it even after the 2000s, they were still saying cool beans when they were talking about things like the mainframe computer at work. <laughs> cool beans. I'll send that right over to you. That email, cool beans. I need a lot more pumpkin again. This really wasn't intended to be a cream eyeshadow tutorial, but what the heck, you know? Um, I learn a lot from people just casually putting on their makeup without step one, step two, step three. Okay, and I'm sorry that I'm looking off to the screen a lot today. It's a habit. Sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't. 
Okay. <laughs> this almost is Halloween look, but Halloween's over. It's time to talk about Thanksgiving pumpkins. Time to think about what we're grateful for, huh? I feel like I need bronzer with all this orange, but I'm going to wait. This is bold for me. I'm going to, this is probably past the point when you can blend. But I'm going to just give it a little bit more. Moving on. I'm not sure if this blush, what color blush do you wear with something like this on your eyeshadows? Well, definitely not berry. So I've got this Milani powder. I know. You know I'm all about cream blush. Tea Rose. Rose powder blush. 08. But it is a very warm color. I haven't used blush in so long I almost can't find a powder brush. So I feel pretty wild with this. <laughs> I may have to tone this eyeshadow down, and I'm not sure how I will do that since it's so no budgie. I might tone it down with a little bit of color on top, like some powder eyeshadow, or I might leave it. Scale for the lips. For the lips, I'm going pretty light. Um, classic Revlon Shine in number 20 Nude Illuminator. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous. I hope Revlon comes out of bankruptcy and doesn't go out of business. This is one of my favorite lipstick formulas. I can do it without looking while driving in the truck. That's kind of important to me. It's more of a, definitely a bomb. Definitely sheer. Definitely not a lot of color. Which I think is a smart move with this eyeshadow. I feel like I need something on my lower lids. But it's a sticky situation for me because it just makes me look older to put anything underneath there. Bronzer. I need bronzer. I'll be right back. I don't have to go far since now we're upstairs in my room. I moved again. I'm going to go in with this Milani again. One of the only powder bronzers that I really like in Zero One Sunlight Silky Matte. Very cool color. Real Techniques brush. Get my hair up. Oh yeah, this is making... My eyeshadow look better already, I can tell. I just do one stripe down the middle of my neck. If I get up under here, it looks <laughs> fakey fake. What's left? Okay. So, here we go. What else? I guess if I was really motivated I'd show you some pie <laughs> pumpkin pie of course I will make pumpkin pie many a year I have just bought a pumpkin pie I think I'm gonna make one this year I'm gonna make the crust turkey breast not a whole turkey there's only three of us the green bean casserole sweet potatoes made from actual potatoes not out of a can Bake them, mash them, and just put um, marshmallows on top. I don't do all that brown sugar and pecans and stuff anymore. Uh, two kinds of dressing. <laughs> I know about dressing. I know how to make dressing. Sometimes I used to make three, but I'll make cornbread dressing, and then I'll make regular old stove. Maybe not. There's only three of us. It's a lot of carbs. I'll just make cornbread dressing. I made cornbread the other day and made another... A uh, pan of it and chopped it up into little cubes and stuck it in the freezer. So I'll make cornbread. So I've got dressing, turkey, gravy. I can't believe I'm going to admit this, but I am going to use gravy out of a can. I am uh, brown gravy, um, turkey dressing, pumpkin pie, green bean casserole. What else? Sweet potatoes. Oh, cranberries. I like to make the real cranberry sauce. I get two packages of cranberries 
because if there were more of us, I would get four packages. There's never enough. There's never enough. I don't know who's eating it all. I think it's my husband. So I have a pretty big pan, but it goes in the fridge. So I might make that the night before because I like to make sure that's like nice and cold. So I do the, just the recipe on the package. It's just you boil them and add a buttload of sugar. And uh, I don't put nuts or anything like that in there. And then Hannah, my daughter, was talking about she was going to make, oh, yeah, those. I might get her to send me a photo of that recipe. The one new thing I want to try are these, um, it's these, it's bread and you, rolls, you kind of take the dough, you make the dough and it's got yeast and all that jazz and you sort of flatten it out and cut it into squares and then you stack the squares on top and you pinch them so it fans out and then you stick them in the muffin cup. So they're like fanned out so the butter can go in the little cracks. And she was like, this is pretty easy and it looks fancy. So I might do that. I think I'm going to do that. And then what else? Of course, I make olives. I make black olives and green olives on a little tray. Deviled eggs. Got to have those. Got to have those. What else? I think that's about rounding it out. I have cherry pie. My husband loves cherry pie. He's actually downstairs and can hear me. <laughs> he's probably not listening. My voice doesn't carry. Well, my voice does carry, but I don't know if he's listening. Um, a cher One cherry pie and one pumpkin pie. That is enough. I think for three people, that is enough. Maybe I will get a small turkey instead of just... That's a lot of sides and not a lot of meat. Hmm. Tell me what I'm forgetting. Sweet tea... I'll probably do Splenda tea because that's so much sugar. I don't like it as well. I like sweet tea, which is iced tea if you're from Canada. <laughs> Gotta have iced tea. And that's about it. I got a new table runner at the Goodwill thrift store. Washed it. It was brand new, but I washed it. It's beautiful. It's kind of fancy. I say fancy. I mean, it's the design is nice. It's a department store, not a regular old Target thing. And then I have some paper plates with pumpkins on them that are like, you know, kind of molded and some little pipe matching pie plates and matching napkins. So, woohoo! And then alcohol. Well, we have alcohol. Let's see. We have a, tons of wine. We don't have any white wine. I'll have to look. It's all red. Sometimes I like to get... I don't think we'll do that because I'll be the only one drink. Yes, I will do that because I like to drink a little while I'm cooking. Even if it is 8 o'clock in the morning. So I'll do that just a little, like just like a bottle for myself. That's no, I'm kidding. Um, like two glasses, and I'm probably will take a nap. So I, one glass is good enough for me while I'm cooking. And that's it. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I hope that you are staying in your budget for shopping. But I hope you're also maybe buying yourself a little something. It's nice to get your Christmas shopping done, but it's also nice to shop just a little bit for yourself, too. I'm Maggie D. I'll see you in my next video. Happy Thanksgiving.